Talking about voting, all of you, when you came tonight, purchased a ticket, or your spouse did, or your partner, and they indicated whether they supported or opposed our resolution, which was, be it resolved, does foreign aid to developing countries do more harm than good? So let's see those results. Coming into this evening, how many of you were uh, in support of the motion? Let's have those numbers up on the screen. So 61% are against the motion. No, foreign aid does not do more harm than good. Obviously, my math's not that bad. 39% are in support of the motion. So clearly, our con debaters tonight, Lewis and Collier, have an advantage. But just, just for curiosity's sake, of everybody in the audience tonight, let's see a show of hands of people who might change their mind either way yes or no, depending on the arguments they hear tonight. How many hands do I see? I see a lot of hands up. There's a lot of potentially undecided switch voters in this audience. So, uh, Hernando de Soto, Dembisa Moyo, uh, you've, you've definitely uh, uh, got the opportunity to change minds in this room. I've said enough. Let's get our uh, debaters up on stage. I'm going to uh, welcome first uh, our team of uh, con debaters. Uh, I'd ask that we hold our applause until I properly, in properly introduce them. But Stephen Lewis, Paul Collier, come on up on stage. Um, Paul Collier is one of uh, the, the world's leading development experts. He's an advisor to developing nations around the world today. He's also the former head of uh, development research at the prestigious World Bank. And he's currently the director of the Center for the Study of African Economies at Oxford University. Many in this room will know him as the author of the internationally best-selling book, uh, The Bottom Billion. Uh, Stephen Lewis, uh, I think can be said, is one of Canada's natural wonders. Uh, he's had a distinguished career as a parliamentarian, as a diplomat, as an author, and as a social activist, including a, a truly remarkable stint as the UN Special Envoy for HIV AIDS in Africa. Uh, Stephen currently hangs his hat at McMaster University, where he is the professor in global health. So please join me in welcoming our kind debaters tonight. Now, our pro debaters, if I could have Hernando de Soto and Debisa Moyo up on the stage. Ladies first. <laughs> Fernando de Soto is the uh, president of the Institute for Liberty and Democracy in Peru, one of the t world's two most influential think tanks, according to The Economist magazine. Like Paul Collier, uh, Fernando is also an advisor to developing countries uh, across the globe. Uh, many in this room will know his two best-selling books, really game-changing books, The Other Path and The Mystery of Capital. He is currently co-chairing with former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright uh, the influential UN-supported commission on the legal empowerment of the poor. Dambisa Moyo uh, is causing an international sensation with her new book, Dead Aid, and clearly she is enjoying every moment of it. Uh, Ms. Moyo is a former investment banker with Goldman and Sachs. She worked as an economist, uh, consultant, sorry, at the World Bank, and she spent her uh, formative years in Zambia, studied economics at Harvard University, and completed her PhD at Oxford, where, in fact, Paul Collier was her thesis supervisor. <laughs> Uh, so let's uh, welcome our two debaters. <laughs> 